Why did Jesus descend to hell? Jesus became sin hmm. for us, and uh, maybe that's the reason why he went to hell. I agree with the answer. Answer. Ladies <laughs> <laughs> first. <laughs> hell is a place where sin belongs. So because he had all our sins, he had to go down so that you know he could uh, get rid of that sins, I guess, and then. Because his uh, divinity was so much that he did, that hell was not a place meant to meant for him. So therefore, he got ascended into heaven after being descended into hell. He uh, went to show his victory over sin to the fallen angels there. That he has conquered death. So that's why he went to hell to show that he is victorious over sin, and sin doesn't reign over any one of us anymore. It's not showing off, but Jesus. He he is the king of heaven. Maybe he went to destroy hell. He went to destroy hell also through his uh, resurrection. Jesus descended to hell because, and I don't know whether it is hell or where, but there were those so many souls who were who had to be redeemed or who had to be bridged back to God, and that's where Jesus went. This is what I think it is. So Jesus went to redeem all those souls who had to be returned back to the Father, and so He went down to death in the earlier days. Later on, and now it is hell. So this is what my mom told me that uh, uh, usually when people died, they didn't get redemption mm. till it was Jesus. Jesus came, and grace came with Jesus. Mm. So they were not liberated till Jesus went down to death, mm. and they all drew. I don't know whether they all rose with him. Hopefully, all rose with him. <laughs> Did Jesus spend three days in hell? These things are not mentioned in the Bible. <laughs> I don't think so. He spent three days in hell. Those three days, I believe Jesus was there, but uh, it was all for the fulfillment of scriptures that he came back on the third day. Jesus could have come back the very next day, but. To fulfill the scriptures, whatever is written and whatever is the will of the Father, he came, uh, he uh, rose again on the third. So I don't believe he's supposed to spend three days in hell. One day he was in hell, second day he was traveling, <laughs> and the third day he resurrected. <laughs> there were so many souls to redeem. <laughs> so maybe he took three days. He felt what they felt. Gauge the situation. <laughs> Maybe because he said something when he was here with us that in three days you build this temple or you destroy this temple and in three days it will be built back again. Something like that. Maybe that is the significance of the three days. Though I don't know what he was doing there for three days, but still. <laughs> on the third, on the third day, day he rose again. He must be three days in hell, I think, because he went through all the suffering because of our sins. So he, so as like Jesus couldn't do miracles, but then also he went through so much of suffering and everything. You know, people were hitting him. He could easily go out of that, you know, and not feel the pain. But I feel that if he went through that entire pain, carrying the cross, getting wounded, so he must have suffered in hell for three days because of us. Jesus Christ honestly would not require three days to save people from hell. He could do it at the snap of his fingers. Catholic numerology is very interesting. Forty days, which we hear a lot of in the Old Testament, is significant of a long period of time. Not exactly forty days or forty years. Uh, the number seven represents perfection. One shot of that six is imperfect. Three also has a very important role in Catholic numerology. It shows and represents divine work, which is why when we say Jesus went down to hell and on the third day he rose again. He saved the souls of the people who had passed away before his human time on earth.